Hi, I'm Scotty. Welcome to Scotty's Cluck World. This is a movement from the Welsh Cluck. I've taken it out of the case. And as you can see, it has got huge amounts of oil on it. Been way over oil. See it there? Over there. You can see it's built up over here with gunk on that pivot. It's even run down onto the hammer and to the bottom of the suspension spring. That pivot there is full of gunk also. Back doesn't seem to be too bad, though the winding arm is the gunk and the winding arbors. That one. And that one there. Okay, well, <clears throat> we'll take this to pieces, put it through ultrasonic, clean it up, and then we can see what we've got. First thing we do, we've got to clamp down the main springs. We get a couple of mainstream clamps. Check out what size we need. One's pretty close. We'll wind the strike side up first. Put our let, put our let down tool on it. Tighten it up. Turn it over. Put our clamp on it. And see if that's going to fit. It's actually not, that's a little bit too small. I think that is the same size, yep. Okay, I'll have to get another clamp to put on it. I've got some mainspring clamps now. So we'll put the first one over the strike side. Squeeze it down. Reverse the movement. Put our let down tool on it and then find where the click is on the spring. Pull that out a tiny little bit. Seriously spinning round. Then let the let down tool spin round in your hand until the force is taken up by the mainspring clamp. Nice and tight, good. Now wind the going side and we'll put out we'll put a clamp on it. Turn it over. Slide the clamp on. Okay. Find where the click spring is. That's dropped down, so you 
using the let down tool we'll wind it up a fraction take the pressure off the click and then let it wind down not all the way because the mainspring clamp is not tight enough yet Once again, whoop, drop down to keep an eye on that. Wind it up, pull the click back, hold it, pull the clamp in so it's in the center of the spring. It's now caught there, so we will continue to release the spring. There we have it. Both springs contained. So we can now start to take the movement to pieces. Now we need to know what size the pivot is on this wheel. 1.63 mil. This is the rack hook right here. That